G'day guys, welcome back to another adventure. I'm here today in the Plenty Gorge Parklands. There's a bunch of old abandoned farms sort of sprinkled out throughout the gorge and I'm on a bit of a hike today to go see some of them. So I've got no idea what's there to be honest. <laughs> I just sort of found them on Google and thought I'd go and check them out. So on a bit of a hike today, it's a nice warm day, summer's day here in Melbourne. It's about 30 odd degrees, so start walking. So I am the blue dot here, I need to get there, so a uh, bit of a hike ahead of us, but man, there's absolutely no one out here, I haven't seen another purse or another car, beautiful. When you come through here on a weekend, and you can almost not move, there's that many people down here, but come here on a uh, Tuesday afternoon, absolutely no one. Now this is the LePage homestead. Believe it or not, I've actually done quite a bit of work in there. There's an art gallery. But when it was getting renovated, about two years ago, I did a bunch of work in there. It's an old house. I've been trying to mix up the videos a bit lately, because, you know, for so many years I just did just urbex stuff. So now, yeah, trying to mix it in with metal detecting and all that sort of stuff. So, getting a lot of good feedback. So, probably gonna keep doing that from now on. Um, but try not to stick to one subject too much. I mean, I've got probably about six, Abandoned videos I'm sitting on which I haven't released yet so and uh, a few metal protecting ones so hope you guys are enjoying the variety because this is the sort of stuff that I like doing and I've been walking for a bit I haven't even seen a single sign for the farm of this abandoned homestead bush camp that's the way I've got to go anyway have a look at this view though incredible Well, this is that bush camp that the sign was pointing to. I imagine it's just a little camp that either scouts or kids can come to and uh, enjoy being out in the bush. Everything seems to be hanging around here at the minute. <laughs> Probably hasn't been used in that long because of COVID and whatnot. And this is actually the building here. One of the buildings, I imagine it's like a multi-purpose room sort of set up in there, kind of like a scout hall. But it just says due to severe vandalism, this site is under video surveillance and you can see it's all been boarded up. And all the building behind here has all been boarded up, so it's kind of strange. You wouldn't think a place like this would be vandalized. <laughs> We're so far out, like, I guess you can drive cars down here, but weird. Anyway, the track I'm heading is just here. Yeah, just looking on my maps, that's where I gotta go down that path. And you might see the sign here Stutchberry Track. And I believe the farm was called Stutchberry Farm, so let's head down this track. Well, this is kind of creepy. Just down the track here is like this kind of like little overgrown outdoor church area. What the hell? It's kind of weird. The benches and the uh, cross up there on the on the tree. This is just like Snake Central. <laughs> that is uh, kind of weird. I don't know if this is part of that, like an abandoned part of that camp up there that they just don't use anymore. Or what? That's uh, this is kind of like some hills of ice shit right here. Creepy. Oh, there is a random ute up ahead, just parked in the road. This is not creepy at all. Wolf Creek style ute parked in the middle of the road. It's probably a parks vehicle, but. <laughs> Oh, there's the Plenty River right there. Looking pretty murky. That's what that car is doing. It's an environmental services, <laughs> not Wolf Creek. Oh, river crossing. Oh, jeez. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can't say I expected that. Nice little river crossing. Awesome. Alright, 
right guys, well I made it quite a hike up the hill but this is all the stuff around basically what's left of this farm pig pen, blacksmith, bloody dairy well today's house, the chook pen there's actually quite a bit around, I don't know how much of this we'll, uh, we'll be able to see but let's go explore eh? here's the uh, Stutchberry family right here I'm guessing this is Alfred and uh, Ada, Ada, but uh, they came from Buckinghamshire in England, following a trip to the Plenty Valley in 1890. And Alfred bought 250 acres worth of land. Well, if I'm reading that map correctly, it said something about this being a garage <laughs> or a blacksmith or one of those two. Oh, look at this! Someone's been drinking the good stuff. Oh, can of Guinness. That's uh man, look as if it's some stuff lying around. <gasps> look at this. A butter knife. <laughs> I don't think that's 1890s butter knife. It's kind of weird that it's here. Maybe this was the blacksmith. There's some stuff lying around here. Some iron. God knows where that's from. But yeah, this kind of looks like it was off a barrel or something. Handle on either side. That's kind of cool, that's lying around. Who needs a metal detector, huh? This would have been a seriously nice place to live and have a farm. I just imagine all of this, having all of this land out here, basically to roam free. Those kids must have had a ball running around out here. I know I would have. I mean, I do now. Here's, uh, here's another building. That is awesome. Look at that. It's made of rocks. Yeah, apparently this was a barn and a hay shed. <laughs> Kind of cool, huh? I love uh, the old, the old brickwork and stuff they've done with it. Jeez, uh, not much left of it now. Oh, this roof is probably holding on by a skin of its teeth. It's, uh, I wonder if that's just basically holding it up. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen, uh, to have seen this in its glory day. Judging by the map, there is a few buildings missing. You can definitely see there's a foundation here, something here, but I think they said this was Staples that you can see there. That's now gone. And uh, there's basically just this barn left standing here. Oh, at some point there was definitely something here. You can see the foundation. That is uh, one of the barns, I think it said Hay Barn. It's, uh, can you imagine metal reflecting this place if I was allowed to? <laughs> Look how old this is. I feel like I could just knock that over easily in one, one swoop. Oh, it looks like right here is quite possibly the old well. It's uh, obviously it's seen better days. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the old well anyway. It's pretty hard to get a gauging off that map and try and uh, figure out where we are now, but it makes sense, doesn't it? A big hole in the ground. <laughs> right next to the barn. Awesome, I'll have a look at that barn. Well, here is the old house. What I'm guessing is the house. Anyway, it looks like something from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Man. Sorry about the lawnmower noise. Oh man, you can actually go in. Holy crap. Wow, look at that there. Was there a table there or something? Yeah. Foundations of a table. Man, this is, if this is what they slept in, there's no way. I must be reading the map wrong. This has to be like an old barn or something. It's definitely like an old table or something there. Whew. Looks like there was a plaque here at one point, but it's been smashed out. They weren't wrong about vandals, I guess. A lot of people have written stuff on the walls. It sort of makes you put into perspective now about like how we live. Oh Jesus, there's ghosts. Someone's done their uh, alphabet for some reason. Good for you. Someone's been drawing all over it for whatever reason. 2015. Oh, how about not 1905? <laughs>
Oh, it's got a, quite a nice little garden now next to it. <laughs> Pretty overgrown, but I dig it. I'm guessing this is uh, a chicken pen. Yeah, Look at that chicken pen goodness. Door's gone so no one can get locked in. <laughs> wow. It's amazing to me that this stuff's still standing. Like an old chicken coop, probably made how long ago? Still here, under this old uh, gum tree. Now here as well. God knows what the hell this was. There was other, some, uh, some sort of other pen. Who knows? I can't even remember the bloody board. Should have taken a photo of it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the site of where a house would have been. Big flat area. There's no way that was a house. <laughs> you can definitely tell there was something here. Must have been a, either a house fire or it just got knocked down due to being in poor condition or something. But Jeez, look at the size of this anthill. My God. Jesus. Holy crap. That's a lot of ants. There's an old tile there as well. I wonder if that's uh, is from, uh, from the old house. <laughs> Doubt it. That is one big ant pile. Damn, they're everywhere. Ah, there's one on my leg. Ah, get off. <laughs> God, ants crawling all over me. Yeah, go check out the ant nest. Good idea. There's a good view anyway. Man, what a... Uh, this would be a good spot to do like a stealth camping mission for the night. Come bring this swag and sleep inside there. Let me know if you want to see that. Okay, well it turns out that was the dairy. And that's the house. So, uh, the side of the house is what I thought it was. And what I thought was the house is actually the dairy. It's, uh, sadly that house is gone. According to the map, these were pig pens. But, uh, the map isn't the easiest thing in the world to use. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I can see how that would have been pig pens. What a beautiful space. Just walked down the hill a little bit and found this uh, contraption. I have no idea what it is. All right, well, that was the farm. That's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I literally saw that on Google about, uh, I don't know, like two days ago. So I thought, well, I have the time. I'll come look out a video and record that. Again, had no idea it was there. So pretty cool. I'm still finding stuff like that <laughs> to, to document. And like, you know, this is about half an hour from my front door to here. So pretty cool. If you guys know any, any areas like this, anything you want to see me document, please let me know. And all the All the photos and stuff that I take, from today and all my past adventures all go on my Instagram at YouTube so you can have a look there and feel free to send me a message a lot of you guys have been doing that and uh, giving me some good feedback I really enjoy hearing from everyone anyway guys that's gonna be it from here as I said before Instagram at YouTube hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell you'll be notified every time I upload and we'll see you guys on the next adventure which I think will probably be a video from Echuca where I'll be going this weekend so everyone have a, a good long weekend who's in Australia and enjoy see you next time